Hey everybody! In today's tutorial I'm going to do something that you don't normally do with a gel press and that is I'm going to use a dye based transparent medium and a stencil and my 3x5 gel press which I have set up in my MISTI. Now normally dye reinkers are not viscous enough to use on the surface of the gel press and so I found a way to make them work as paint and that is just to add a little bit of Versamark refill to the reinker and then apply it with a damp paintbrush to the surface of the gel press. Now what's really fun about this is the way you layer acrylic and opaque paint onto the gel press. You're picking up the paint and transferring it to the paper and what is closest to the gel press is what ends up on top. So you're sort of seeing the reverse of the layers that you've added to the gel press. But with this process, especially with using it in your MISTI and using a transparent medium, you can actually see through the gel press to see what you're doing. You can also position the stencil exactly where you want it, which I've done for this second step. I shifted the stencil to open areas that were left from the first printing. And so I can exactly fill out my design the way that I want to. It sort of takes the mystery out of covering up that gel press with a piece of paper and wondering what's going to happen. You do get some texturing from the streaks of the reinker on the gel press that are made with the paintbrush. And I find that that adds a super fun texture to the finished project. I'm going to repeat this a third time, shifting the stencil again to have the openings of the stencil correspond with open, unprinted areas of the cardstock. And this layer will be yellow. These colors all play really well together. I do love where they overlap and blend. And I need just a little bit more Versamark to make this yellow work. It turns out that it was a little bit too liquidy the first time. And you'll want to clean your gel press in between. I just clean it with my absorber. And this one's a little bit lighter so it's a little harder to see on here but I'll go over it a few times to make sure that I have enough. And you don't need a ton of Versamark, you just need enough to get the reinker to cling to the surface of the gel press. So maybe three drops of reinker to a drop of Versamark and you'll get a lot of printing mileage out of that. It's fun to find a way to use these with the gel press. If you have distress reinkers, you can do the same thing. Any dye ink will mix with the Versamark very well. In using it in the MISTI, I can really make sure it's squished into all of the stencils. I can look through that clear lid and make sure I'm getting good contact. And then I think I have room for one more layer. I have enough open areas that I can print a pink layer on top of all of that and make sort of a festive birthday card. This stencil is from the Crafters Workshop. It's called Mini Cubist, and I love this design. It's just irregular enough to make what I'm going for, which is sort of a confetti looking background, work perfectly. Those little irregular rectangles and squares are a lot of fun. So that is perfect. That looks like a party. Looks like a birthday party to me. That's what I was going for. So here is the finished project that I made with this card. It's a very fun and festive background and you can see the texture you can get. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching.